This is the over six acre of land KGB Asatu Senior High School has earmarked for the Green Ghana project. Friday morning, we were here to kick start the tree planting exercise. The school is expected to plant over 2,421 assorted three seedlings that they have received from the Forestry Commission. Some students and teachers who took part in the exercise have been speaking to join us. I just want to say this program is a very laudable one. Life of a man depends on trees. And as we plant these trees, the most important thing for us is to, to protect them. We thank the government for this initiative and we thank the Forestry Commission for supporting this school for this exercise. My name is Vasna Jambosko, an agri prefect of KGB Asatu Senior High School. And uh, I would like to commend the government for bringing this uh, program into existence. Uh, it is a very important thing to plant trees in Ghana and in our societies because it contributes greatly to the lives of Ghanaians. What I would like to say is that uh, our forests nowadays had been uh, depleted and then we know that trees also play a major factor in the climatic change of our society. So I would like to say that we should all put our efforts in place to plant a tree and make sure that the tree survives. You see, as a farmer, as you said, if we, we, we notice, we realize that the rainfall pattern has not been very good. Last year, our maize farms did not do well because of lack of rain. And so we have been expecting rains. And so this exercise is so important. Uh, and so like the president uh, is doing, I think it's a laudable idea. We should support it. We should go and plant trees and we should protect the trees. The district chief executive for the KGB district, Maxwell Asidu, was also present at the ceremony. Apart from expressing his initial comments about the Green Ghana project, he is also urging school authorities to take full charge of the project and especially during Hamatan to protect it such that bushfire wouldn't consume the seedlings. You know, if the last tree dies, the last man also dies. And so, for us to survive, we have to continue planting trees. That is why we are planting trees. Besides that, Ghana has also lost much of its forest. And for a matter, we have to bring it back. And so planting trees now means that we have to bring the forest back. If we are able to do this, it means that uh, we're going to have more rains. And we have more rains, we have more food. And then we'll survive. The teachers should take it upon themselves so that when it is time for dry season, they get against these trees. That is where they have to create uh, fire belts, fire belts to be able to get against these trees so that they will grow for us to have the, it's their benefits. Also taking part in the tree planting exercise is the Asatu community in the KGB district. The chiefs and people in the community have earmarked two and a half acres of land for the tree planting exercise. They have so far planted over 200 assorted species of three seedlings they received from the Forestry Commission. Also present at the tree planting exercise is the health insurance scheme in the KGB district. Francis Odumja is the district manager. He believes that a healthy people would ease the expenditure burden on the scheme. We are here to plant these trees to serve as a protection to our health, our individuals, everybody, so that when we have good health, the health insurance bills will also come down. So we thank Nana and we thank all the people who are part of this program for this wonderful um, exercise. Officials from the Forestry Commission were also present at the ceremony. According to the Forestry Commission, individuals can also walk in and pick species for planting. Once the individual owns and plants the trees and it matures, it is the property of the individual. They are however assuring all in Sandrid to fully embrace this for national regreening exercise. From the KGB district here in the OT region, my name is Peter Sanu for Joy News.